a couple of nice ones, T. Those yeah. ones count as mine. That still only counts as one. Feel. Feels nice. Makes me feel like those old, like, projector, hand crank camera guys. I don't know. There's the prize! Ugh. Four pack. actually a little more exhausting than I thought it'd be. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Ow. Ooh, ooh. Get yourself? Uh, a little bit. So here, always go hand over hand, okay? Uh-huh. And when it gets down to a fish, then you can just let it go. That looks like just a tiny flesh wound. Oh. Just about a flesh wound. He just got introduced to the barb. Hey, that wasn't the first time. And come over on this side. It's a lot easier to work this gear from, from this side. How come? I don't know. Because it's just more comfortable. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, that's good. Get cleaned up. Nice fish. Yeah. Don't worry. You'll get poked a lot more than that. Yep. Just be careful that you don't bury it. It's true. See what I do? When they're not quite there yet, just reach down. And pull up. Don't drag them over the rail, but pull up. Oh, okay. And you'll have less it tend to fall off to see. That puts a lot of stress on its lip right there. But if you just pick them up and over. That makes sense. And always just go hand over hand. Don't don't let go because that's gonna run out and the next one will get you before you get your hand out of the way. Pretty much guaranteed. Yep. Take your time. There's no big hurry here. Fish will always bite again. It's no fun getting one of these in your in your hand now. See, 
see you when I did it like that. Yep. I, I just reach way down here. As long as you got a good grip on it, you can drop that. It's not gonna get pulled out of your hand. But don't like, like grab it lightly. Cause then it'll just get pulled through your fingers and you will get a hook in your hand. Okay, nice. Nice little hit. Good day. Good day. Man. Hooked my finger. Oh. Got you good. Leader here. It's all like coagulate in the cold air. Huh. Oh, I can be a showcase on what not to do. Wait, was that a fish poke or a hook? That'll do it. All right, so we'll get the rest of these fish cleaned up. Uh, just keep putting these smaller ones in our fresh market tote. And uh, looks like we've got a couple of totes for flea market, so that's good. Whoa. How do you feel about those teeth? Oh, think you're out fishing me, eh? Looks like I got more on deck than you. Sorry, my boy, but I've already bled out twice.
come. So we'll go ahead and uh, start gutting up some of these fish here. Uh, as you can see, the neck strap and gill plate strap thing is already cut. It's all free and loose. This is what we did while we were bleeding. So we'll just jam our knife in the gut cavity, slice right up between the, the fins there and down the belly. I use my finger to grab the bottom of the intestines there and just kind of carve around right here. That frees the intestines and I just open it up like that, put my thumb in the gill plate and tear it out. Roll it out. Yep, roll it out. Using your fingers as a fulcrum. So that just leaves a couple of blood blotches there. We'll go back and, uh, and scrub these guys up in a, in a tote full of water and um, pack them on ice. Get them all chilled down for the for the flight. Yeah. Sounds good. Show you a couple more here. Avert your eyes if you're squeamish. Tristan will be pulling out the guts and the, uh, the air bladder, kind of just assembly line it, but he's the cameraman right now. Yep. Well, looks like the guys got it all tidied up out here. Fish are all iced down. Yeah, looks good, huh? Not a bad day. Yeah, it's a very good day, actually. That's uh, nine full tubs, which is yeah. 85 each. So, yeah. very good. 
not bad for a short day yeah so i guess that's it for now um good day of fishing beautiful weather can't complain so no nope, not at all caught fish had fun got out and back even home before dark so <laughs> Thanks for joining us and thanks for all your great comments and questions and we really appreciate it, the emails. Yeah, so, I really enjoy the interaction with you, all the support. Yeah, so keep them coming and we'll catch you again soon. Yep, see you next time guys. See ya. Bye. All right, welcome back guys. So back down here on the boat. Hey guys. Got hey mom guys. and Tristan here. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna be scrubbing up, up these uh, these fresh market fish. They're all down here in these totes here that are covered in tarp. We're just uh, preparing our work area. Um, got the pump hooked up to our fresh water in the center hold that we're gonna use to rinse off these fish. And uh, just put a light sprinkle of ice on them. So I guess we'll get started here. Yep. And uh, yeah, kind of show you how we do it. All right, so we'll scoop out some ice real quick. Just put a coat here. Fill it up with ice. And we don't have to climb down in here and let all the cold out. Even though it's cold out. Nice, flaky ice. Yes, good ice. We need that. My coffee spilled. Oh no. Our little homemade bait slash ice scooper. Uh, Want to go fire up tea? Yep. Get some water in this tote first. Poor Maddie lost his coffee. just recirculated fresh water? Yeah, it's fresh water from when we filled up the water dock. Uh-huh. So, not using the harbor water to fresh up our, uh, yeah. up our fresh fish.
lids. Nice and fresh. Yeah. Okay, now just grab one of those totes. Begin. Begin, T. By all means, Mom. I'm faster than you anyway, so you need a head start. <laughs> the race is on. No race, I'm rusty. Here, stand over here so you don't drop the light. You, stand over here. There you go. So I can capture some. Mm, Looks so like you've forgotten how it's done, huh? Yeah, maybe by the end of when we're done you can show me. I think I've got it back already. Oh, look at Tristan. He's already one ahead of you, Mom. Well, you know how picky I am. I haven't done it since you have. Okay. No race. What you think, Matt? They only have to be squeaky clean, not immaculate. Mom, well, it doesn't, it's not like some operating room. Let's see Tristan's. That's right, we're not in theater right now. <laughs> By all means. Good. Yeah, it's good. Good. Let's see. Little spots of blood there are fine. But as you can see, you try and I can hold it. Scrape these little. There's usually a big blood clot there, but you just scrub out all the big blood pieces and uh, the remaining gut bits. Be fine. How's that? Very nice. I'll have to get a little bit of you, Maddie. Mm-hmm. How are you stacking those? Just like that. Nothing fancy, man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you tell. Is that good? Uh-huh. What are you doing, cameraman? Get over here. Somebody's got a film. That's what the little clip is for, so you can put it right on here and give us a top down view. Actually, I didn't bring that, it's at home. Oh, just tape it on there. Why didn't you remind me to bring that, dude? I would have brought it. I thought you had it. No. Ooh. Well, these fish are pretty cold, so they shouldn't really need any ice on them except for the top layer. We'll just throw some on there. So the ice melt it drips down through them, so I'll cool the bottom and it's been plenty cold at night here. Well, it looks like you guys have it handled. I'll just leave you to it. Go take care of the Deck boss paperwork. What paperwork? Oh, that paperwork that you never see me do, but I do it. Dad's already doing some paperwork today. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell these ones are blacks because their bellies are white, right? And they're I guess you guys have probably explained that already though somewhere. Huh? The difference between black rockfish and chesties. Uh we didn't, but I suppose we should. These are all black so. Yeah. They're um we don't have any duskies to compare by, but they're they don't have a knob on their chin. Yep. And duskies also have little hole dimples in their jawline, right? Yep. And the blacks have white bellies. Huskies are brownish with orange bellies, right? Is that right? Bingo.
Yeah, the duskies have pink bellies. The light duskies have pink, oh, pink right. in them, and the dark duskies are brown. You want to watch? No. No, it's all you. My fingers are cramping. My fingers are cold just watching you. <laughs> I think I'll just leave you two to it. And besides, work is supposed to loosen up cramped fingers. It's true. Why are you getting cramped? Trying to get out of it already. Half a toad hey, in. I don't think so. Never. Mom, we've still got another seven totes to go. No way. Alright, we'll throw a little scoop of ice on these. Not too much though. Just like that. Right guys? Yep. We'll carry on here. And we change this water how often? Yeah, like every tub. Mm -hmm. It'll just get pretty gurry. Yeah. Uh, Alright guys, so we're done here. Um, they're all toted up, rinsed and clean, and from here we'll uh, box them up and ship them off. I guess that's kind of that portion of the, uh, the process for you. So, for now, we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Yep, next time. <laughs>